Hello everyone and thanks for joining us on this epic project, the making of a games console. This one's going to be a little bit different, it's not going to be a plastic 3D printed case. This is going to be made from African hardwood, real brass bullet casings and high speed, high contrast electronics equipment. Most of these items have been very kindly donated to the channel. Uh, the African hardwood came from a friend of mine, Rory, up in Glasgow, thank you very much. And uh, Martin in Crayford in Dartford has sent the uh, shells for this project. The electronics is being supported by modmypie.com, who sell, support, uh, high quality hobby electronics. And uh, I've put a link in the description so you can have a, a look and check out their site. They've got some really good stuff there. Mrs. Dubious has very kindly allowed me to buy a router and our first job is to get this router, fit it to the workbench and make it useful for this and other future projects. So please don't forget to check out some of the other videos on Dubious Engineering. We've made all kinds of madness, robot lawnmowers, upgraded Arduino big tracks, even recently we made an arcade machine. Share some of these movies and I tell your friends. Hello people, welcome back to the workshop. So, remember this bad boy? <laughs> yeah, it's a router. So what I want to do is I want to mount this underneath, about there, underneath the bench. Um, I want to keep it sort of up in this corner so that it's not too close to the middle of the bench. I want to be able to slide long things past it and that kind of good stuff. So what I've done is I've unscrewed the plastic base from the bottom of it. Looks a bit naked without that doesn't it? And um, I've drawn a template here around that plastic base. I'll show you that in a bit more detail in a second. What I plan to do is make a hole, put some screws in here, and just have it so that this bad boy can sit underneath the bench with its appropriate router bit poking upwards so we can address pieces of wood uh, over here with the router. Now eventually at some point what we'll probably do is chop a big square out of that um, and make it so that we can easily pop it in and out of the table and so that we can cover it so that there aren't any sharpie bits that we might hurt ourselves with. I'm thoroughly astounded. I've actually found uh, three bolts, cap heads or whatever they're called, cheese heads, um, that actually fit this, oops, fit this router if I don't lose them all. So um, cool. Router. I must call it a router. It's not a router. A router's what they use on the internet, isn't it? Right. Oh, that's going to have to be a bigger hole, I think, isn't it? Yeah, needs to be a bigger hole. All right. Yeah, and those um those heads are going to need to sit a little more flush. So uh, right, bear with us. Ooh. I found a, a router bit. 
I wonder if I write a bit, a router, writer, writer. Yeah. I wonder if I write a bit will work. Oops, careful now, Taylor. That's a bit sharp. I wonder if that's uh Mmm, there we go. So, my screws are too long. That's um that's it done up. And uh yeah, it's uh it's all slopping around. So I'm gonna have to fix it. Oh man! Yes, it's Dremel o'clock. Safety glasses engaged and uh screw shortening about to commence. Please watch this space. Right then. Oh, look at that. So, here we go. It's all locked in place now. Crikey. So we've got a little bearing on this bad boy at the top here. Um, this should create a nice, um, well, it needs to go a little bit more level with the bed. So let's just see if we can level that up a little bit. Oops. Yeah. About there. Right. Plug her in. Let's see if she spins up. Oh my goodness. Yes, indeed. That is scary. Um, definitely going to be using a pair of motorcycle goggles with this thing. Right then. So, as you can well imagine, there's a safety mechanism over here uh, on this bad boy. So there's a trigger on it and uh, a button for the trigger. All right, and there she goes. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna have to bypass that uh, with a bungee cord or some cable ties or something like. Actually, just while I'm down here, just uh, so this little handle here uh, allows you to way there we go uh, set and release the height of the of the router router um, there's uh, a little micro adjuster here which gives you the ability to um, put an end stop and also uh, a little rotating a stepper disc at the top here which again allows you to um, set the height um, or the depth of the of the cut and then these two little bad boys here are for putting a couple of um, posts uh, in here so you can use it as an end guide uh, if you're doing some uh, routing along the side of a piece of wood. So yeah, okay, anyway, there we go. Uh, we'll do a proper review of this uh, router at some point in the future. Great news. So the bungee cord with the ball on the end of it uh, appears to work very nicely for bypassing the safety system. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, I bypass the safety system. Do -do -do. There we go. She's all fired up. Now then, let's see what happens. Ah. <laughs> safety goggles. <laughs> okay. This direction.
so um, I sped the uh, I sped the thing up a little bit and um, yeah we actually got quite a nice well I mean obviously the, the the little wheel is following the undulations of the rough cut wood this is a piece of rather nice hardwood uh, but I will say it's actually done a pretty good job of um, of getting a nice finish on that. Uh, what I did is I did turn the speed up on the on the on the router router a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's going to work a treat. Safety first. We're really going to have to be careful with this bad boy. Uh, a friend of mine at work today mentioned you should really be careful. I completely agree. Let's um, put this down to. Donk, there we go. Hide it. Safety mode. Safety mode engaged, unplugged, and dropped back. Ah, okay, and thus begins a new fabulous project making a games console out of a lovely piece of African hardwood. This is going to be marvellous. <laughs>